Okay, so let's get started. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Okay, so so far we have uh, covered most of the important concepts of robot operating system, including uh, the loss computation graph. You know what is a topic now, publisher, subscriber. What is a service? What is an action? Okay, how we can find the topics? How we can find the nodes? How we can find the services? Okay, through command lines. You, you have also made a few examples on Python and C++ on how to write a publisher and subscriber just to send a very simple message uh, between the talker and the listener and also you did the same thing for a client service as well but okay now the question okay why do we learn all of this how this is going to help me to develop programs that will make a robot move and this is the objective of today's lecture okay is to apply the concepts that we have learned so far and you will make the simplest ever robot which is the Delta Sim move. Okay, by just taking the same sample code that we've done for the talker, and I'm going to update it in order to make the robot move. This is now an introduction. This lecture is an introduction to a bigger concept that is called ROS2 motion. In ROS2 motion, I'm going to teach you everything related to how you can control the motion of a particular robot in robot operating system. So now I will try to respond to this very simple question, how to make the turtle seam move. Yesterday I sent you a challenge. Did anyone try to solve it? Yes, sir, huh? Yes. Did you make it move? Even if it moves a little bit, that's fine. It moved. No, but Okay, you can show me your code. So Okay, so now I'm going to start from what you have learned. So for now, we made a publisher subscriber, how to publish a message on a topic using a publisher node, how to subscribe to a message on a topic and press it, uh, process it using a subscriber node. And also last week you've done client server. Okay. And the difference is here, we're going to have a request and response between the client and the server. And what we want to do now is to apply this knowledge to make this turtle seem move. And also we want that it moves for a particular distance, not forever, okay? If a new robot starts moving, at some point in time it has to stop, so we need to make a stopping condition, okay? And the same thing also for the rotation of the robot. We'll try to apply all of this. Okay, so uh, the basic type of motions, uh, first of all, we're going to create two packages, one for C++, and one for Python, okay? So later on when we go to to Ubuntu, we're going to create a package for Python and another package for C++, and here we're going to put our code related to the motion. And of course, you need to compile. And this is a reminder about the basic motion types. So basically, we're going to consider very simple motions in this lecture, just how to move straight. And I think you all remember that to move straight, you need to put some kind of speed or velocity in the linear uh, in the linear component in the x axis and if we want to rotate in place we're going to put on the z axis of the angular velocity you remember this okay it's because the the u or the direction will be rotation around the z axis we already covered this okay so now i'm going to ubuntu and i will start from here so this is our talker node and the question how to change this node to make the turtle seam move. Okay, so first of all, what we need to change? We need to change the name of the topic. Okay, in this talker we have published on the shutter topic. Now, if we publish on the shutter topic, does this is going, anything is gonna happen for turtle seam? Does turtle seam have any shutter topic? So which topic we need to publish in order to get the Turtle seam move. What is the topic? Uh, no. Uh, it's CMD valve. Well. Yeah. Turtle one, CMD valve, well, right? CMD. Okay, so yes, so I'm going to change the old name Chatter. So this one, I'm going to change from Chatter to Turtle one, CMD valve. Well. Mm -hmm. And of course, if I change this one, what other things I have to change? Okay, because now this is the topic name and the topic name has a type. Yes, so here we have a string. What will be the type? type uh, twist. Yes. So I need to change the string type to the twist type. 
Okay, now I'm guiding you about the process again. You need to understand the process. When you want to create a publisher, you need to think in this proper manner, systematically. Change the topic name, change the topic type, and then what else? And then, okay, here I'm sending a string message. I will change it by sending a twist message. That's, and you, we need to make a small arrangement and the code will be ready to test. I'm not going to show you the solution, but now I'm going to go to working here. <coughs> so in my case, I created something called CS460WS. Uh, I have been working on the DevWS, but DevWS, this is where I do my the code uh, before the lecture. So I'm going to do the new code in the uh, CSWS. But of course, you can keep working on DevWS. It's only the name. It's only the name of the workspace that is going to change. OK, so I need also to enable this workspace. I will disable the other workspace one I am using before. This is just something related to my setting. Mm, okay. <laughs> That's why, because I, I've copied the the whole echo inside the upper screen. So you can understand how many times I opened the new terminal. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to source this one. Okay, change this one. And put this as CS460. Okay. What is the workspace? Right. Okay. It's without capital letters. Okay, so that's fine. I'm going now to open my VS Code. This is the, okay, I'm going to copy again. Okay, so let's first create a new package. I have the previous package, ROS Essential for Python and C++. I'm going to create now a new package. How to do that? Okay. Uh, no, we have to go. Yes, CD, uh, CS460, WS, and inside the SRC, and here we are going to make ROS2, create, uh, pkg pkg create and then dash dash build type and we have I meant python and then the name of of the package is ros2 motion 